Good morning, Wayward Walker with the Wayward Wagger on Saturday morning. And we are in Palmer. And we are looking for, well, we'll call it a ghost town. It really wasn't a town. We were looking for the Shaw, it's called the Shaw District in Palmer. Uh, and what it was was a school district. They, when they first settled all these towns, they would have school districts. And we are going to try to find, well, I, I've heard this foundation's up here. And we're going to try to find the remains of the schoolhouse, the Shaw District School. There's supposed to be some whole farmhouses up here, ruins, and possibly a tavern. Now, this is, uh, this is the word Palma. We are on, but we'll be going, looks like it's started already, up Pacamawana, something like that hill, which is the second highest hill in Palma. So we're hoping that uh, this is the way we want to go. Unfortunately, my map from all hills is not quite working here, so we are on the road. And I really think we want it to go that way. Let's we'll see. We have to get our and go back. There are a bunch of roads up here, whole town roads, um, that were decommissioned. I don't know if that's the right word, but let's see. We're going to go this way, Jack. Um, some of these looks like they mowed us up here. Now, this is supposedly public land. As I said, the roads were decommissioned and all this was taken over by the town's conservation people, some of it by state fish and game, and various other. Um, entities and it's all public land even though down when we came in there was a gate and it said for trespassing but when the neighbor came out and asked me what I was doing I told him I was taking my dog up hiking so it was okay so that's where we are I'm not too sure we're going to see much. It's very thick up here. Looks like it has been logged. Clearing up in front of us. We'll stop up here. I'm going to take a look at the map. Anyway. We will be back. All right, we're still climbing. I just put the map, and this is not one of the roads. It's just like a logging road. But we should cross one of the old town roads up here. Um, you know, the top of this never ending hill. I have to go up to the top. But this was all farm country. Uh, it was settled in the 1730s, 1740s, some parts of it maybe a little earlier. Um, as I said, this was part of the Shaw School District, and there was a school up here. I have a feeling we're not going to see much today just because of the uh, on the brush here. You can see a lot of spot spaces, but open spaces, but I can't deal with like logging. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. So we're going to keep going. And. It's warm. All right. 
I'm gonna keep going and I think we should be almost top of this natural rise. We should almost be and we go our normal local dump. Uh, I don't know if this is being logged now or they're done. And there's also supposedly somewhere up here the site of an old uh, Native American camping site, the Quaybog Indians, Quaybog tribe. Yeah, well, this looks interesting, or more interesting anyway. I think the other road that we saw, we're over here. property so we uh, put your hole I'm gonna we can't find well, heading back down this hill because that's farm and it's uh, active I think that may be one of the old original farms here um, it's been farmed for a couple hundred years so uh, well, I think we missed where I thought we were gonna be so what we're gonna do is go back down and we may drive to another section. I'm not sure. But we wanna be somewhere over there. But it's quite a ways. So I don't wanna bushwhack unless I can find a trail. I don't want, that looks like that slash sends there, so. So I'm gonna keep going down this way. Must be why the little trespassing sign was there. Anyway, I will uh, head back down the hill and we'll be back. All right, we have resumed our journey. We're a little further down the hill. Um, and this is, we're not gonna go find the schoolhouse. We're going to have to come up there a different way. Um, there is another trail up there that may connect, but I think there's one that's closer to um, where we want to be. So we're going to go down this old road. It's another old town road. This is one of the ones that was abandoned. Uh, you can see the wall right here already. And well, we're going to go see where it goes. You know, we love all roads. And there should be, well, I think there should be, but I'm pretty sure we'll find something. And again, it's pretty hard to see. Through here. But we went right there. Something over there, Jack. You can tell. All right, so anyway, we're gonna walk. Should be interesting. I have a feeling this is gonna be an interesting walk. All right, so let's keep moving. I already like it better because it's flat. But that was another farm, that was somebody's farm up there. Um, we were further to the south than I thought we were. When I got there, remember, I couldn't get a signal on my phone and the map didn't show up, so I didn't really know where, which way to go. But, here we are. It looks like we are coming to a little colonial bridge. Right here.
And I call those old colonial bridges because that's probably when they were built, the colonial times. When the first people came up here and settled, um, they would have put bridges on those flat rocks like that, made a little bridge. You remember, there weren't a lot of, well, when they first settled here, it was all pedestrian traffic and horses. There weren't really any wagons or anything like that. So, I'm looking over there, you can kind of see there's an opening. That's that pond that I saw from another other walk. Lots of stuff to look at. All right, so I'm going to uh, pause you. Let's keep going. See what else we can find. Uh, as I said, I know this is all part of that same uh, Shaw district. But this particular side and this particular road, I don't know too much of the history of it because I didn't think I was going to come this way. But we will go the other way. Probably not today, but sometime. All right, I'll be back. Okay, now I'm not really sure what this is. I mean, it's a wall, obviously a stone row. I'm almost wondering if this might be some kind of effigy. Uh, I watched a video yesterday, actually, of a lot of, it was all about walls that were effigies. And from a pretty uh, reliable group, the uh, era. And um, so I saw some things that, uh, intrigued me and I think I learned a little more so that could be like the head right there and it looks almost like a rock was cut both of them may have been split again you know I'm never going to say 100% sure that's what something what something is unless I'm 100% certain which I never really am so because it could just be a farm wall but it's interesting it was going to pill a little bit So when it rains, this road gets washed out. And here's like a break. Mm -hmm. The problem is, like even that wall, you can barely see it because there's so much uh, undergrowth. But anyway, this, as I said, this was all settled at the same time. It's not probably about the 1720s, 1730s. It's all farmland, but reading the history of Parma, uh, it's interesting because like, you can read like the original land grants and stuff that the uh, government made um, or gave to the original plantation or as they call all these plantations out here. The way that wall kind of undulates, that's why I'm wondering. We definitely know, oh, there's a big wall. We definitely know we're in Native American territory. We're gonna go up there. Well, look at that. Uh, all right, I'll get, let me get back. See, that's quite a, a wall. And it almost looks like there's some beaches in it. It's very high, about four feet high right there. Stops there. See how far it goes up. This way, the wall on the other side is gone. You know, instead, if you look, some of these walls, you almost have to look at the whole wall because you find sometimes it's designs made. Again, I'm not 100% sure what this is, but it could have been Native American made. Oh no. Anyway, what I was saying before too about this land and all the, the deeds and stuff says that like half the land is good and the other half is uh, not good farming land is a term for it, but I can't think of it right now. It just looks like it could have been you know, this one's back, so I don't know. I mean as I said, you never know you know what these walls are made of. Or, well, we don't know what they're made of. 
who made the walls? It's looking at a lot of triangle of stones. Not that there would necessarily be a house right up against the wall, but I don't see any foundations. This is obviously an old road. Could have been one of the Indian trails that came through here. Could have been part of the Maybe Pass Trail or Hadley Pass. There's one rock just put up on top of there. I don't know. Is that a can or something? Some type. Another wall, looks like it ends. Good corner off. I wish there was a way to tell for certain. It'd make my life so much easier. But, again, you know, there was a lot of Native American activity in this whole area. Including East One Village. There is a, uh, not far from here, there's a weir, fishing weir, which is where they would catch the fish. We built, and that wall goes up that way, and across here. And they would build a trap, basically, which would force the fish to swim into a pen where they could just very easily catch them. Spear them, uh, catch them by hand. And there is one of those over in Three Rivers, which I'm not far from. So that will be a place we will also have to go. Check that out. There's also in that same area, there is a, an old Indian ford uh, where they you know, cross the river. I don't know, you want to take a walk up there, Jack? He wants to go that way. Come here, Jack, this way. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, obviously, this was not logged recently like the other place. All right, you can see where it's probably farmland. All right, I'll turn you off. And keep going. Yeah. We're again, we're at the end of that same wall. It's a large stone. And that stump. So could that have been some kind of effigy? The thing I learned about these walls in that video is that uh, some of them go quite a few miles. Um, you know, a part of a ledge over there. Part of the uh, 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 what was I going to say? Part of the myth of these walls, they, you know, were all supposed to be colonial walls, but look at them. Some of the, the, all these walls that they showed yesterday had, they were crowned with flat stones that were leaning against each other. Um, so they, were, they look like, you know, say if you had a bunch of dominoes that you put up and then you put them down, oh, they're all like on top of each other. And these crowns would go the whole length of the walls. Uh, some, sometimes the whole length, sometimes it would be broken up and start again, but uh, they were pretty fancy. The walls themselves were all made with flat stones. And these were 14 of them, somewhere in New England, Pennsylvania. Uh, it not, it didn't show you in New England. Well, Pennsylvania, uh, Virginia. I think there was one in West Virginia. And then you even had a couple out west. Or New Mexico and Colorado, I think. But anyway, the thing that intrigues me about these is that I thought I came across one of those, and I cannot remember where it was. I did not even think at the time. And it wasn't that long ago. Uh, 
I didn't even think at the time it could have possibly been Native American. So I don't know where I went. I'm trying to think. I've been looking at my old videos, but I don't think I took a video of it. That's the problem. But we will uh, have to go to another place to go back to one place I went where I think it was. Just to see. Anyway, we're climbing back up another hill. So we will uh, we'll just stay over here too. Let's see what's up the air before I shut you off. No walls on either side. So I'm gonna pause you, I'll be back. I just came across this. It's kind of uh, almost square, flat top. I don't think it's natural. Uh, I don't see any, Jack doesn't want to go up there, but I cut it close enough. I don't see any, any uh, chisel marks. I see something up there he wants. So I'm not sure what uh, it's all about. Again, this could have been a little trail, a little Indian path, and uh, if it's some kind of marker, I don't know. But I know that I have to uh, keep open mind about all these things because you don't know. You really just don't know. Anyway, there's a house right up there. All right, let me pause you. I'll be back. Okay, so we just came to a little uh, fork in the road. I'm not going to go up there. It doesn't go up very far until it turns into a real road. So that's only, O-L-N-E-Y, -O -E only road. That's one of the ones that they um, just continued to town, this end of it. You can see there's a wall on sides. Walls. And also this trail that's used quite a bit. Let's see, I don't know. Better eyes than I do, even the doctor says he's half blind. Not true. I also notice his orange blazes on the trees, so this is kind of like an official trail. I'm sure when it's gonna come out. I think it's gonna come out. Another place you hiked, the Medora Land Trust, something. We come to uh, Old Warren Road. And the Old Warren Road? Yeah, across the street, there was a place over there. We're not, probably not going to go that far. Well, we never know. See what we see up here. All right. A lot of ferns. We'll be right. back. I'm just on a phone call, so we walked quite a ways. Came to another intersection. A couple of nice old trees right there. It's a cool little sitting in the middle of the woods, but we found our first foundation. And actually, even a brick. No name on it. But we've come to a foundation right here. Uh, some. Uh, Rusted relics in there. I'm not gonna go down in there. That's where the chimney probably would have been. Pretty well. Battle, battle maybe. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Let's take a walk a little bit up the side road. Uh, we went a lot further than I thought we were gonna go. A lot of bricks. Hold on, Jack. Probably, obviously from the chimney. Awesome. I think there would be something else in here, I can't tell. Barn, maybe. Stone pile over there, but I don't walk it through that. 
I don't think it could be. At least it's just the wall. I think we must almost reach the end of this road where it goes back up to back out into um, civilization. We're going to go a little bit further this way. This is just all, well, I don't know what farmland is. Probably pasture land. It's really smooth though, it's not flat, but it works. There's a lot of rock in the middle of the road. Go bridge, you know. This is going to loop me around. Back down here. Uh, there really wasn't much to see all the way up the road, I and mean, these walls. Um, once I was posted, so I didn't get off. There were a couple of things that might have been something, but again, we don't like to trespass. But anyway, I'm going to keep going. Pause there. And we'll be back. All right, so you just uh, we're just back at the intersection where that house was, and just found a couple old pieces of pottery, broken. Have no idea if it's good or not. I don't know if it's an antique or anything. Just a few pieces. Okay. Jack's taking a break. Some nice old trees. So we went up, went up this road a little bit, and. It's just going to take us out to a big field. Again, on Old Warren Road. So we're going to head back down. We're coming to the intersection. We'll check out. Oh, hold on a minute, Jack. Looks like somebody's decided to go through the rusted relics in the cellar hole. We're down there. So we've been down there digging, I guess. And there's an old colonial cooler they left here. There's an old dump over there, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so obviously, the house, we're going to buy it again. Probably was the people that own all this farmland up here. It's all walled off, proper breaks, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm feeling it. This up here, it's a nice tree. This up here, this is all farmland. It's probably not Native American. So it goes all over. They could have been there and added on to. So I think we're just going to go down here a little bit. Let's see if there's anything here. This is the original road. It doesn't look like it's, uh, it's well traveled. Here's the other. We could nice wall though, up sides. Just kind of ragged. We're just going to go up a little bit. And we're going to head back to the truck. A nice walk though. More old trees. So I think we're just going to probably stop here, turn around, because I don't want to go through any more of that long grass. I'm water with ticks already. So I'm going to uh, pause you. I'm going to head back. If we come across anything, you'll be the first to know. Well, actually, uh, Jack will be the first to know. I'll be the second to know. And you'll be the third to know. But I'll share it with you. All right, I'm, a, I'm on the way back. I'm almost at the intersection. There's some interesting things up here. I don't know if you could tell. That almost looks like well, it's a dugout uh, pit here or something. I don't know if it was a foundation or not. But I'm pretty sure that if I came back here, and I probably will, and the leaves are done, that I will probably find more stuff up here. This must be a vernal pool here. I'm going to stop, take a little look around that next intersection, which I think is just right up here. Uh, because that's where the house, other house was, was on that intersection. Maybe this one is the same. But a little tired. It's, just, it's kind of muggy. It's not that hot, though. It is humid. And unfortunately, all that land over there is posted. So we can't get in there. There's a little trail off of here. Mm 
It looks like it was just made to go around something here so the off-roaders could get through. Right, so I'm going to shut you off again and see what else we might find. We just passed that other fork in the road. I do not see any foundations. Not to say there's not one in there, there's a couple uh, possible locations. But uh, I don't see so much in there today, and I'm not going to go trucking through the woods. Stay on the trail. The house is up way over there. It must be all we have. The only road, there it was. Only the lonely. Anyway, Rick and I are just continuing and hope you're enjoying the walk. I am. I'm going to probably put these out there because people can't get outside or just like to see new places. I hope you find them interesting, my videos. And you know, I just do it because I like doing it. And people, you know, got people interested in in their own backyards. Well, this isn't technically my backyard, but not far. Anyway, you know, I just love this history. I love, I love a road like this because I know. What do we got? Uh, I know the history of this road. It's like when I was on the old Bay Path Road we were on. Um, I knew that that's what that was. I know this road. It has a name and I just can't remember it and I'll find it later, but I feel like I was still on the same on the same hill. Pompico was supposed to be good. That one. Which was the name of the uh Great Bog clan, I guess they call them. Over here. Yeah, um anyway. Is that stone again? Nothing else around it though. But again, who knows? It could have just been a, a trail marker for the Indian path, the American path. It's interesting up there too, but anyway, saying I do, you know. When we get to the other section, which we'll probably do next weekend. Um, you know, only like there's a school up there. And one that there's a tavern up there. And whatever else. I don't know if there was a meeting house up there. But, you know, just to see these foundations and actually be able to, you know, know what they are and put a, put a name to them. It's pretty cool. We started doing this 30, 40 years ago. Who knows what I would have found. Anyway, we'll be back when we get to the truck. We're almost, well, we're almost back, but it's a pretty long, a pretty long uh, journey. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're just about back to the truck. See the pond over there? I just snapped a picture of something. Look at a mushroom, I guess. I've never seen one before. I'll look it up when I get home and see if I can, see if I can figure out what it was. But anyway, uh, as I said, I think we're just about to the end. Back to the truck. This is a nice trail. It wasn't where I wanted, intended to go the first when we left the house, but it's okay. We'll go back to the other section another day. All right, so remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'm even to like these videos or well, not. Not that it really matters, but I'll still do them anyway. But uh, just remember, get outside, get out in the woods. Even if you, you know, there's sections of woods that uh, forests and stuff. The middle of the city sometimes, I don't even know where they are. I found that out when I was going all around Worcester. 
So, anyway, thanks for joining, and we will uh, see you next time. The Wayward Woofer and the Wayward Walker are signing off.